Hello everyone, welcome to the course of compiler design specifically for the gate purpose. In this video, we will discuss about the operator precedence parser. Okay, actually this, this uh, parser is most popularly used in the calculators. We use the operator precedence parser. Okay. In this video, I will introduce you about the operator precedence parser. Then we will discuss about the algorithm of operator precedence parser and then we will see how actually operator precedence parser works. Okay, let's start with the introduction to operator precedence parser. Okay, operator precedence parser can be applicable only for operator grammars. Okay, what are these operator grammar? The operator precedence parser works with these type of grammars only. So what are these grammar, operator, operator grammar? Okay, a grammar which do not, which do not have these two, these two type of productions or these two type of productions of variable at the right hand side of the production is called operator grammar. Okay, let's see what, what it means is. For example, for this first one, null production means a, a grammar should not have a production like this. If a grammar do not have a production like this, that grammar is operator grammar. Means null should not be there at the right hand side. That's it. Okay. Second, second thing is two adjacent variable. There should not be, do not, there should not be, should not have two adjacent variable. For example, if I am writing as tends to a, b, see this, if uh, this type of production should not be there, two adjacent variables should not be there. This is allowed this is allowed there is a terminal in between a and b so this production is allowed okay this production is allowed in, into the operator grammar but these two type of productions are not allowed if any grammar is having these two type of productions that grammar is not operator grammar okay and operator precedence parser works only with the operator grammars okay that is also the limitation of the operator precedence parser okay let's move on this is the algorithm of the operator precedence parser actually i have just uh, written the only uh, important code here this part will repeat again and again in in the algorithm of the operator precedence parser so i have written the main code only uh, there, there may be little more, more instructions for initialization of something, okay, and for the ending. But this is the main part, which is uh, uh, all about the operator precedence parser. Okay, so here you can see in this code, uh, we are using two variables. One is a, one is b. What are these? What is this a? A is the top of the stack. Actually, we will use a stack in the working of the operator precedence parser and whatever will be on the top of the stack for example here let's suppose dollar is there then this will be our a and if let's suppose after dollar i have put plus then a is this not this one now so whatever is on the top of the stack that will be uh, represented with this variable a okay and what is this b b is the look ahead symbol See, you have some string, input string, for example, uh, for example, x, y, x, y. So this x, uh, in, in this string, x, y, x, y, we've, in the starting, we will look for this first x. So this will be our look ahead symbol. Once we get this x, then we will look for y. Then, then at that time, y will be our look ahead. And if I get y also, then I will look for x, this x, then this will be our look ahead symbol. So this is actually represented with b variable, okay, look ahead symbol. Here, uh, what this code is doing is, this is comparing, okay, which is having higher precedence, the symbol over the stack a or the look ahead symbol b. So here, if b means the look ahead symbol is having higher precedence, let's suppose this is star and this is plus so star is having higher precedence than plus 
so if the look ahead symbol is having higher precedence then symbol over the stack or if they even they have the same precedence then we will perform these two operations okay we will push this b value b means look ahead symbol over the stack let's put star here and we will increment the input pointer for example we will point out now to the y okay we will move one step further here if the symbol over the stack having higher precedence than the look ahead symbol then we will perform one operation that is pop we will pop the data from over from over the stack only this is what we will do in the operator precedence parsing okay let's see how this algorithm actually works with the help of an example okay so let's talk about the working of the operator precedence parser now we'll see how actually this algorithm works actually this algorithm is all about operator precedence parser this is the code of the operator, operator precedence parser okay and uh, we will check whether this string or word whatever we can say to this this word can be parsed from this grammar or not by using this code okay by using the operator precedence parser we will use also use a parsing table in this process okay this parsing table will help us will tell us which operator is having higher precedence okay we will use that information for example here out of plus and let's suppose out of plus and star here star is having higher precedence than the plus precedence is shown with the help of this dot after this greater than symbol okay this is this is not showing the greater value this is showing the greater precedence this dot see you can see the dot uh, after every every operator here okay every, every symbol okay so uh, how this table is built up we will talk about this in the next next lecture right now we will use this parsing table this is also known as operator precedence parsing table okay this is just telling us okay which is which operator is having the higher precedence according to this grammar okay we will talk about this table later in the next class right now we will see how actually uh, operator precedence parser works means we will check whether how whether this string can be parsed with this grammar okay by using this algorithm and we will also use this data present in the table okay okay let's start working of the operator precedence parser okay so first of all i need to actually uh, build up a table for uh, for the to show you working of the operator precedence parser so first column will be your input second will be your stack stack information third will will, will be the operation you are performing okay so first one is your input so input is id plus id sorry here is star here is star id star id plus id dollar okay so this is your input so first step you need to perform is you need to put dollar over the stack okay now what you need to be done is you need to compare the symbol over the stack and your look ahead symbol in the starting and the look ahead will be id firstly i am looking for id okay so this is my look ahead i am underlining whatever is my look ahead and this is the top of the stack dollar is the top of the stack in this algorithm we are comparing two things only top of the stack is a actually top of the stack and look ahead symbol that is b b is the look ahead symbol i am comparing these two only okay so if the look ahead symbol is having higher precedence than than the symbol over the stack then we perform these two operations otherwise we perform pop operation okay so let's see here which is having higher precedence dollar or id the symbol over the stack or the look ahead symbol which is having higher precedence this this information we will get from this parsing table okay 
this operators and uh, symbols are representing the status of the stack okay these belong to the stack and these belong to the input means these are actually your look ahead look ahead symbols okay so this is look ahead this is a symbol over the stack now symbol over the stack is dollar this one and look at in input is means look ahead in the input is id so i am comparing dollar and id here i can see which is having higher precedence you can see id is having higher precedence than the id is having higher precedence than the dollar if look this is look ahead see this is look ahead if look ahead let me mark it as a b this is your b okay and this is your a according to this algorithm so here b is greater than a b is greater than a then we will perform these two operation first one is i will push b push id over the stack let me do it okay so i am performing what i am doing i am performing push operation okay i will write whatever operation i am performing here okay so i push i perform the push operation and i ink i will increment the look ahead so now my look ahead will be star okay now this is the status again these two steps will keep repeating okay so let let's repeat it let's compare id and star the symbol over stack is id and the look ahead symbol is star so which is having higher precedence id is having higher precedence id means a is greater than you can say b a is if a is greater than b here a is greater than b okay then what we need to be done we need to perform pop operation pop a okay so i will pop id from the stack so i will get do, uh, dollar here and uh, this will remain same okay again the same step will repeat let me write the operation here which i perform here i perform pop operation then i will get i pop the id here i push the id okay after that again the same steps will repeat i will compare dollar with star so which is having higher precedence dollar or star see star is having higher precedence means b is greater than a b is greater than a then i will perform these two operation i will push star over the stack and i will increment the input means look ahead will be id now so i what i perform i perform push operation you can write over here okay again i will compare the symbol over the stack star with look ahead symbol that is id so star and id id is having higher precedence means b is greater than a b is if b is greater than a i will perform these two operations i will perform means push operation i will push id over the stack and i will increment this also increment input pointer my look ahead will be plus now okay same process will repeat again and again id compared with plus id compared with plus so id is greater than plus a is greater than b a is greater than b then i will perform this operation i will perform pop operation and uh, that will be i will remove this id actually from here that will be star input will remain same because we are performing only this pop operation here again same step will repeat i will compare star with plus star with plus so now a is greater than b a is greater than b i will perform pop operation let me write here pop pop means i will remove this star dollar will left here this will remain same okay now again 
I will compare dollar with plus, dollar with plus. Plus is having higher precision than dollar. A is greater than B. A is greater than B. So I will perform these two operations. I will perform push operation. I will push plus over the stack and increment the input. Again, compare now plus and ID, plus and ID. This one. This time B is greater than A. B is greater than A. Again, you need to perform push operation. So I I am pushing ID over the stack. Okay. Again, compare ID with dollar. ID with dollar. ID is having higher precision than dollar. A is greater than B. Then I will perform pop operation. Pop. means i will remove this id here will be dollar plus this will remain same again i will compare plus with dollar plus with dollar this one so a is greater than b a is greater than b i will perform pop operation let me write here pop and this will be dollar only this will be dollar again i will compare this dollar with this dollar This dollar with this dollar. If I get two dollar, actually I will accept the string. So string will be. If I get. If I get dollar over the stack as well as look at symbol is also dollar, then the string will get accepted. Okay. So these two steps are repeating again and again. Actually, uh, this is how actually operator precedence parser works. Let's move on. Okay that's it about this lecture thank you